Today, we're going to be making some homemade pantry essentials. We're going to make gravy mix so we don't have to buy those little packets. We're going to make chicken gravy, beef gravy, and country style gravy. We're going to use what we have to make what we need, and we don't have to buy those little packets of gravy. Hey y'all, and welcome back. Today, I'm going to show you a quick, easy way to keep gravy mix in your pantry for any time you get ready. We all buy these little packets of gravy, but they cost around $2 right now. So we're going to show you how to make a mixture that'll make around eight servings of gravy. So come on and let's get started. Okay, I've showed y'all a lot of times how to make homemade gravy from scratch when you're already cooking in a skillet and you have your oil and your drippings from your whatever you're cooking. But in today's video, I'm going to show y'all how to make a batch of the homemade gravy to have just like you would have when you buy these little packets. It'll be ready to go in your pantry at any time you need gravy. And it's only going to take four ingredients. You're going to need some salt, black pepper, we're going to make chicken bouillon, we're going to make chicken gravy, and we're going to use the beef bouillon to make beef gravy, and you'll need some all-purpose flour. Okay, to start with, we'll use an, uh, a mason jar is what I'm going to use. You could use like the little jelly jars, but to get it mixed up good, I'm going to use a pint so you'll have room to mix it and shake it up. We're going to start by just adding our funnel to our jar so we don't make a mess. And we're going to add one cup of the all-purpose flour. And I am going to level it out so I will know what my recipe for my jar will be. So we're going to do the one cup of flour. And this is a half a cup, so I'll have to do two. Okay, and now to the flour, we're going to add four tablespoons of your bouillon powder. And this is the beef bouillon. And then we're going to add our black pepper. And depending on how much you like the black pepper taste in your gravy, that'll be up to you how much you add. But we like a lot of black pepper, so I'm going to add one tablespoon. Uh, you might cut it back some if you don't like the lot of the black pepper taste to a teaspoon. But we're going to add one tablespoon of black pepper. And now the bouillon powder does have some a little bit of salt in it, so... You just use the salt based on how you would like your gravy. And to mine, I'm gonna add a half a teaspoon of salt, and then if I need more salt in it once I make my gravy, I'll judge it then and decide. But that right there is your homemade gravy mix for your pantry. This is beef, gonna be beef gravy. And now we'll do the same exact thing and we'll make our chicken gravy. We're going to level off our bouillon and put four tablespoons of the bouillon powder to the one cup of flour. This right here will be good to keep in your pantry. That way you can make gravy easy anytime you get ready. And everything's in it except the butter and the water. We'll do our the half a teaspoon of salt. And our tablespoon of the black pepper to this one also. And then we're 
we're just going to put our lid on. And right here now we have our chicken gravy, the same as we have our beef. Okay, and now we're just going to take our jar and give it a good mix. And you could even mix this up in a bowl if you wanted to and then use the funnel to pour it in your jar. But I don't want to dirty up another dish, so I'm just going to use the jar, get them in there, and just keep giving them a good mix. It'll mix up in the jar just perfect. And y'all look at there. There's homemade gravy mix for your pantry. This easy and simple. So now you're ready to make chicken gravy or beef gravy. And we're gonna write beef and chicken. So I'll know which one is the beef and which one is the chicken. Okay, now the next gravy mix, we're going to make the white country gravy that you can use on biscuits, you could use it on potatoes, you could use it for sausage and gravy, and add your sausage to it, but this one is a quick, easy uh, recipe. We're going to start by adding, and I'm going to make a double batch of this because I like having this in my pantry for when I'm wanting to cook some gravy and biscuits. And I don't want to have to do it all from scratch. I'll have this mix, this powder mix ready to go when I'm ready. So we're going to start by adding two cups of flour. And this is still my half a cup, so I'll have to double this recipe. Okay, that's our two cups of all-purpose flour. And now to our two cups of flour, we're going to put one and a half cups of powdered milk. And now we're going to add one big tablespoon of black pepper. Because y'all know that country gravy has black pepper, a lot of black pepper in it actually. So we went with one big tablespoon of black pepper. And then to that, we're going to add a teaspoon of cornstarch. And I'm going to do a teaspoon of salt. And now this is optional. You can put garlic powder and onion powder, and that's what I'm doing. And if you don't like the taste of onion, but if, but if you've ever had white gravy and you try it with the onion powder in it, you'll always use it. So we're going to do one big teaspoon of onion powder and one big teaspoon of garlic powder white pepper gravy. Now we're just going to put the lid on it and start giving it a good mix. And some people call this country gravy. And now we have country gravy, chicken gravy, and beef gravy mix ready for our pantry. Well that's just a quick little video on how to keep gravy mix in your pantry using what you already have and not buying these little bitty packets. I hope y'all like our video, and if you do, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. To use this pantry essential, you will add three tablespoons of butter or oil of your choice to two tablespoons of your gravy powder mix to one cup of water, and then you will have gravy for mashed potatoes, steaks, or whatever you need it for. And this might help you save money in the kitchen.